my heart is racing right now. Could I make an appointment to book my smear test, please? It took a little while for her to find my actual cervix. I have fallen victim to another TikTok purchase. You are just beautiful. Call me Picasso. Mini Primark haul. Just love the colour of it. This is Alfie Day's brand. Let's give it a try. Big moment in the sunny side office. It's not doing it for me. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Looking in the viewfinder, it's looking very symmetrical to me. I hope it's satisfying for you to watch this. Today is Tuesday. Not gonna lie, I'm struggling today. I'm struggling to find motivation and to get myself going. I thought, you know what, I'll have a little break. I'll have my lunch, which I've just had, and then I'll feel better. But actually, I sat down and got into a bit of a slog. I'm pretty sure it's because I've got to take website photos today. I've been packing orders this morning. I've done loads of little tasks to put it off. But now the time has come where all my little tasks are complete and the next thing to do is take the photos. I am really excited. So I've got a launch on Friday. I feel like I say that in every vlog at the minute. Let me show you. Let me move you down a little bit. You're a bit high. If you've been watching me for a while, you might have seen that with Sunnyside, I launched some matte bags, which are basically clues in the name. But they're bags that unpop, unzip, and unfold into a mat for your dog to sit on. I use mine with Sunny all the time. Whenever we go to a restaurant, we go somewhere new, it gives them somewhere to settle so they know that's their place. The first ones I did were like a waterproof material. And every time I launched them they sell out way quicker than I think they're going to so I've ordered more this time but I've ordered them slightly different a little bit new and improved because these three are faux leather and they're beautiful of course I had to go with the black option plain black sold really well last time I think just because it goes with everything it just looks like a bag it doesn't look like a dog product it's got soft black minky dot fabric inside as well I don't think you can see that but it's soft on the inside for your dog to sit on faux leather on the outside so if you put it on the grass it's water resistant so it's coming in black this one which i think might be my favorite beige and brown they come with little pouches in as well for like your human stuff so you can put your phone your keys whatever in there and the last color baby pink and for this one i've gone for silver hardware and black accessories and a black inside but those are the products for the launch this week i need to take some photos now and i've got to get up on the desk because that is my biggest white surface to lay them out flat. But first of all, I need to find the vets and order Sunny a prescription. Dog mum life. Thank you for calling Medivet. You're welcome. Hi, um, I was just wondering, could I order a prescription for my dog from you, please? It's just a, um, a repeat one. And pet's name? Sunny. We'll email it over for you. Okay, that's great, thank you. I've procrastinated a bit more and now I'm ready to take these pictures. Oh, it's always a little bit scary. <laughs> One day it won't take my weight and it'll just collapse. And when that happens, I hope I'm filming it. Anywho, I'm about to film this job. It's a little Instagram job with Purina. I love working with dog brands because obviously you guys know I'm obsessed with Sunny. She's down here as we speak. Of course, she is always with me. I went through the brief last night, wrote out everything into bullet points that I need to say to make sure I don't forget anything. And then I want to film some like b-roll shots of me and sunny because i think it will just add to the little instagram reel make it super cute that's the main job on my to-do list today i would love to get it edited and sent for approval it normally takes me quite a while to film a branded story or reel or whatever it is just because i'm such a perfectionist and such a teacher's pet that i want to get it right and i'll start fumbling on my words that happens quite a lot i've just finished filming the first part of the job and i've made my lunch i haven't had this for a while actually but i've made my pasta salad again with my nando's meat sauce. I haven't eaten this since the last time I filmed it which was probably a few weeks ago now and while I eat this I might watch I think I've got one more episode of Changing Ends to watch which is the sitcom that Alan Carr produced and it's so funny I definitely recommend it. It's on ITVX and there's only like six episodes or something and the episodes are short so great if you've got a short attention span <laughs> like I have. But anyway I'm very ready for a lunch break and I accidentally made kind of like two and a half batches of pasta so I've just got two really big bowls. Me again, I have edited some of the Purina job, not quite all of it yet, but we're getting there. But I had to come up to the office because it's 10 past four already and I have to take the orders to the post office by half four. Luckily, I'm pretty up to date on orders, so it's not going to take me long. But yeah, I was sitting at home editing, suddenly realised the time and have shot up to the office. So I'm just printing the orders now. <sighs> it's all fun and games today. Some days I feel like I smash running two businesses. 
other days like today my brain feels a little bit messy it's the only way i can describe it i feel like i've got lots of tabs open and sometimes it's hard to manage all the tabs but we'll get there we can go home already that was a very fleeting visit wasn't it my love before i leave just want to show you the stock room because i had a little rejig if you saw last week's vlog when alice was here this room looked quite different i had all the mat bags on the floor down here but obviously they're launching friday so they are now upstairs on the day where i switched everything around i did 12,000 steps without even trying just because i was up and down the stairs so much all like i think it was like nine or 12 boxes of mat bags have been taken upstairs now and they're all ready for the launch on friday i bought downstairs the new boys collection because i needed room upstairs for the mat bags this aisle i completely turned it all around so now i've got my very first proper little double aisle going on big moment in the sunny side office i just can't believe how much space there is on the floor down here now that the bags are all upstairs upstairs however i'll quickly show you this and then i'm gonna get going like i said the mat bags are all up here and my mum and i have spent pretty much well where have i gone there i am pretty much the whole of i think it was monday packaging up every single bag so all three colors i have now look like this so they're ready to go they're in this cellophane so that it doesn't get damaged on the way to the customer. Look super smart, super neat, and they are all done. There's always so much prep to do beforehand, but I actually find that as it gets closer to the launch, it's less stressful. Probably because more of my to-do list has been done. I mean, that does make sense. But like on Friday, the day of the launch, I know I'll be super chill. Whereas on Monday, panicking galore. I keep getting a bit spooked today. I don't know why. Actually, I do know why. It's because... <laughs> The bathroom door opened by itself this morning when I was on the toilet. And since then I felt like someone's following me around. Three guesses who's pestering me for a treat. Maybe it's just you following me around. It's always Sunny following me. Anyway, I'm now home and I'm gonna make myself a coffee because got very exciting delivery this week. Future Self have sent me some of their coffees. This is Alfie Day's brand. Oh my God, why are things keep moving on their own? The blind just went down by itself now. <laughs> Spirits can hear me. Oh my god, I don't say that, Hannah. Um, anyway, <laughs> they messaged me on Instagram and were like, do you drink coffee? If so, would you like to try some of ours? And I was like, yes, please. But I don't actually have a coffee machine. However, they do brew bags. And these are basically like a tea bag, but in coffee form. This is what it looks like. Look at me being a YouTuber with a bag of coffee. Oh my god, it smells really nice. It smells a little bit chocolatey, you know? This is the everyday blend. Cocoa, molasses, and malt sweetness. Mmm, it smells delish. Let's give it a try. I'm gonna put the kettle on, but we've got a new kettle and it's really loud, so I'll speak to you in a second. <laughs> Done a bit of TikTok scrolling and I think it's been about three minutes, so I'm gonna squeeze the, nearly said tea bag, squeeze the coffee bag. I'm gonna add two sugars. Let me know in the comments down below, actually. If you drink tea, how many sugars do you have in your tea? I have two, three if I'm treating myself. How bad is that? Add a little bit of milk. And there we have it, an Alfie Day's coffee. Let's give it a try. I'm no coffee expert, so don't trust my opinion. But my mum just got home and even she walked in and was like, oh, that coffee smells nice. <coughs> oh, excuse you, you can't try coffee. It's still boiling, but I'm gonna burn my mouth for you. It's fine. Ooh, oh, that is a lovely coffee. And I'm not gonna lie, my mind is blown at the idea of a coffee bag. I can't be the only one that didn't know that exists. Thank you very much to Future Self. Sunny's been waking up at three o'clock in the morning every morning because it's been hot. So this is actually very appreciated. Although I've also had a Red Bull today. So if I feel anxious this evening, mind your business. <sighs> Guys, right, I'm looking a bit not my best. I've just had my eyelashes done. But I'm about to do something that I have put off for months. I am so, I'm actually shaking. I'm so terrified of this, but it's got to be done. I'm not going to overthink it anymore. My heart is racing right now. All are lying for busy and your call is being held in the queue. Good afternoon, surgery. Hello, could I make an appointment to book my smear test, please? Um, I can do next Tuesday. Yeah, that's fine. Right, all booked. You've had your letter, I take it, to say to book it, yes? Yes, I have. Yeah, fantastic. Okay, so Tuesday the 18th of July at 3 o'clock and I'll send you a text message to confirm. Okay, that's great. Thank you. All right, thanks. Thanks Bye -bye. very much. Bye. I know it's so important, 
but I got my letter in February. I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but if you're a bit younger, maybe you won't. So when you turn 25, you have to have a smear test. Well, it used to be called a smear test. It's now called a cervical cancer screening or cervical screening. I think. I think it's called a cervical screening. And I wasn't expecting to get the letter until I turned 25 because I thought, okay, I don't have to think about that yet. 24 and a half is actually when you get the letter because apparently it takes six months for people to book their smear test generally. On average, it takes six months to pluck up the courage, which kind of made me feel a bit better because it's almost been six months since I got the letter now. I put it off, I put it off. I've been so nervous for it. And I really hope that me saying this doesn't make anyone else worry about it. Um, I just want to be honest because I feel like I've done so much talking to people about smear tests. Everyone is really positive and makes it out like it's no big deal, which is great, but it has felt like a big deal to me and I haven't actually heard anyone say, yeah, I was terrified as well. If anyone's had their smear test, please let me know your positive experiences in the comments down below. And I just want to say, if you had a negative experience with your smear test, please don't tell me about it. I don't want to read that. Um, I know that's probably very ignorant of me, but ignorance is bliss for me in this situation. Remember that people reading the comments of this video, they might also be in the position that I'm in and they might be putting it off. So yeah, let's keep the comments positive. But I'm not gonna think about it until Tuesday now. I don't need to, I'm gonna have lunch instead. I've got my batch cooked pasta salad. I'm the kind of person that always worries about the beforehand and then when the scary thing arrives, I can actually cope with it in the moment. So I'm hoping. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. It's just a smear test. The thing that's pushed me to do this, right, is I really want to have children one day. Not in the near future, but like the near-ish future. How am I gonna do that if I can't even have a smear test? Like, Han, get a grip. It's only a little swab. I wanna be pushing out a baby one day. Hello. God, I feel like I've left you in the lurch a little bit, not gonna lie. I think the last clip was when I was booking my smear test. Anyway, after that, I didn't vlog anymore. <laughs> it was one of those weeks last week where life just got in the way and I didn't have enough vlog footage, which is why there was no vlog last week. Very sorry about it, but I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna combine the two. And it kind of makes sense because fast forward to the following Tuesday, which is today, and I've got my smear test booked this afternoon. So, I thought actually it works out quite well that you saw me booking the smear test, being all worried about it, and then today I can let you know how it actually went. I am nervous, but I actually feel a lot better now than the lead up to booking the smear test. If you've received your smear test letter and you're like, oh my god, I can't do that, honestly, when you find five minutes of courage, pick up the phone to your doctors and book it, because I can guarantee you'll probably feel better after that. I definitely did. As soon as I made that phone call, it was like a weight off my shoulders. Before I go, I'm gonna have a shower. I wanna feel all fresh and clean. I am gonna shave as well. I know you don't have to. Lots of people say like, oh, don't worry about it. The nurses have seen everything, but I just feel better. I think I'll feel more comfortable if I have. And I'm also gonna wear some kind of dress or a skirt so that I don't have to like fully undress. All I have to do is take my knickers off. <laughs> I'm not as nervous about the speculum. I'm more nervous about the unknown feeling of something in my cervix because obviously never had that before. I don't know what it feels like. Some people say it feels like a pinch. Some people say they can't feel it at all. Some people say it's a little bit uncomfortable. I wish I could film in there, but I don't think I'm quite brave enough to do that. Okay, obviously I'm still at home, but I've just showered. This is my smear test outfit of the day. I've just gone for a long dress, something easy to help me feel more served is that the right word and i've got about 40 minutes 39 minutes to go and now that the time's come i'm actually not that nervous for it i'm more nervous that i'm gonna feel faint and like feel really lightheaded after it because i went with one of my friends to hers and i don't like seeing other people in pain medical situations i also went with a friend to get her tattoo and i was sick outside so that's the kind of person we're dealing with i'm such an empath that when i went with her for her smear test she was okay i was not <laughs> i'm just hoping that's not going to be the case when it's actually me i'm going to distract myself with some editing i'm going to edit some more of this vlog and then i will see you when i'm back so i actually had to wait for about half an hour in the doctor's waiting room because they were running a little bit behind they were super busy but that actually made me feel a bit better because it kind of took my mind off it guys i'm back and i was okay i didn't pass out i didn't throw up i didn't fart i was worried about all of the above it genuinely was a lot easier than I was expecting it to be. The nurse I had was so, so lovely that she honestly made all the difference. It took a little while for her to find my actual cervix. I say a little while. I literally laid on the bed at 3.25 and I was back in the car by 3.32. Seven minutes and most of that was talking. I would say the actual test took about, I would guess maybe like 40 to 50 seconds. At first she couldn't find my cervix. She'd like put the speculum in, which I didn't find uncomfortable. Then she widened it. That was probably the 
most uncomfortable part for me but still not bad and definitely not painful in the slightest then because she couldn't find my actual cervix she just asked me to put my hands in fists like this and sit on them like under my bum to sort of kind of like pivot and she was like just try and relax so I relaxed and she went oh yeah straight away she found it so if you can stay relaxed it definitely helps so then she put the little brush in she counted five twists one two three four five which also helped because it felt quicker and I've heard so many people say different things about that actual bit like the actual swab some people said that's the bit they found painful other people said they didn't feel that bit at all for me I felt it but it didn't feel like it didn't feel like a pinch or a scratch I've also heard that it literally felt like if you very gently do that with your nail that's what it felt like for me and then that was it she took the speculum out I got up put my knickers back on and come home so this is your sign if you've received your letter and you haven't yet booked your smear test honestly just do it because no one's going to worry about it more than I did I overthought every aspect of it but now in three years time when I have to have my next one I literally won't worry about it at all as soon as I get that letter I'll just book it because it's really nothing to worry about but no one can convince you that that is the case except you trust me I know that everyone told me it's nothing to worry about I'm still worried I think it's normal but it's just one of those things that's got to be done but yeah book your smear it could save your life and now I've got to wait for two weeks to get the results and fingers crossed it'll all be good life has been going too quick this week I feel like I've blinked and it's already Thursday but Sunny went for a groom yesterday let me show you her she looks so cute hello Hello friends, this is my new haircut. I can't even tell you how soft she is. She feels like, she feels like cotton wool. Her groomer said she was really good. She just doesn't like being groomed. She always says like Sunny would never dream of biting her. She just pulls her little feet away because she doesn't like people touching her front paws especially. But she gave her groomer a kiss yesterday for the first time. <laughs> what a sweet girl. Here's a close up of the floofs for you. It's so soft when you touch her, your fingers just go straight to her little tiny skull. And she's still got her long Dumbo ears. Her ears actually finish there but i think having her ears kept long makes her look super girly you are just beautiful so this morning mum and i have come over to chelmsford which is something we haven't done for ages actually we've got um the furbo camera on let's have a look at sunny see what she's doing she'll still be asleep but we haven't left her at home on her own for a really long time probably like months not intentionally we just haven't really needed to but here she is She's asleep on her bed and I'll call Matt. Um, and we're gonna pop into Pandora because there's a ring that I would quite like for my birthday. That's the only thing I can think of really. But I wanna try it on because I'm not sure what size I am. We need to pop to Lakeland as well to get some cling film, really exciting. And I wanna pop into Primark just to have a look really to see what's in there at the moment. But we're not gonna be long because Sunny's at home for the first time in months. So we're only gonna be like a couple of hours, I think. But I thought I'd bring you with us anyway. Welcome to the world's worst come shop with me. So Primark had some really lovely bits in actually. Loved these denim cargo shorts this leather jacket may have come home with me you'll have to wait and see i also loved this dress but mum said it looked like a picnic blanket there were loads of floral dresses i wasn't that keen but i did quite like this little green ditzy number the barbie collection it's cute but it's not really a bit of me if the film wasn't out i definitely wouldn't wear this but i did love these pink flip-flops i just wish they came in black then i found these other leather flip-flops didn't have the same ones though but they're still cute i needed these blue slippers in my life but they didn't have my size i was gutted and i swear i wore these actual shoes when i was about five years old at ballet lessons hello hello sweet girl you've been so good I've been watching you on the camera. You've been so sleepy, haven't you? I might have a little surprise for you because good dog bums never come back without a new toy, do they? <laughs> oh, such sweet kisses. Don't show everyone your bub. <laughs> you got to close your eyes. Are you ready? Wow! What is that? <gasps> Oh, wow. Hang on, let's take the labels off. Ready? Meow. You are so lucky. I picked this up in Primark because I just thought it was too cute. It was seven pounds and she loves like crinkly toys like this. Show everyone how you shake them. Oh, perfect demonstration. <laughs> On today's episode of Han is way too easily persuaded, I have fallen victim to another TikTok purchase. This time, this teeth whitening thing. Teeth whitening colour corrector serum. Brightening from High Smile. I've seen a lot of videos of this recently, but I think most of them are like um, 
paid at ads that just don't look like ads. It's kind of hard to tell on TikTok sometimes. But I thought we'd give it a go and see if it actually works. It was like £17, I think. So it's quite expensive. It looks like purple shampoo. You put two pumps of it on your toothbrush and brush it on your teeth for 30 seconds. So let's give it a try. This is my teeth before. They're not bad, but they're like definitely could be whiter. You'll have to let me know in the comments down below genuinely if you think this works or not. It looks like purple shampoo. What do you reckon? Do they look whiter? I feel like they look whiter in the mirror than they do in the viewfinder, but I don't know. Am I just convincing myself that because I've paid money for this? Maybe if you use it a few times, maybe if I used a bit more or if I did it a second time. It's not a toothpaste though, so it's kind of annoying. Like I know I'm not going to keep this up because I'm lazy and I already use a whitening toothpaste. I actually do kind of want to get my teeth professionally whitened. I've been looking into that lately, but they're definitely not bad. I kind of want like a Rylan level of white though. I'm not going to lie, I think when you've got blonde hair, your teeth look more yellow because it kind of like blends into one. I think if I had dark hair, my teeth would stand out a lot more. But anyway, let me know. Do you think it worked or not? Here's my cheesy grin. <laughs> Another thing I bought on TikTok is these headbands. And honestly, I don't think I like them, but I have no idea if you can even return stuff on TikTok. So I'm going to keep them. I'll probably donate half of them. I just don't think I'm cool enough. Like, ignore this top because this top isn't the vibe with these headbands i feel like most girls who wear these look so cool and i just look like either a 45 year old hippie or a tennis coach and there's not really any in between it's not really giving what i thought it would give if i'm honest Maybe it's the white one. Don't worry, I've got plenty of colours. Is that one better? Not with a blue top, obviously. I don't think it's better. Am I wearing it wrong or am I just not cool? Is it too low down or is it too... No. That's giving Ant from Ant and Dick. <laughs> Yet another useless purchase. I just realised I never showed you what I bought from Primark. Don't get me wrong, I didn't buy much, but I did get a few bits. So, here's a little mini Primark haul. First up, we have yet another oversized shirt. Because I honestly live in these. They're like that soft kind of brushed cotton and especially in the summer or in the evening or when it's kind of going from summer to autumn I wear these all the time I just think they're so good with like jeans or leggings a little basic t-shirt like this one but I would normally wear it with like a neutral color I got it in size extra large I think because I wanted it to be like an oversized fit on me and this was eight pounds got this little pair of pink shorts not gonna lie I don't need these and I probably will barely wear them which is so stupid as I walked out I thought I'm not gonna wear those pink shorts but because I've had that thought I'm gonna really make an effort to try and wear them probably only around the house I even said to my mum I was like oh it's not even that hot though like am I ever actually gonna wear them and she said apparently we've got another heat wave coming at some point so if that's true I'll be wearing these but I do think they're really cute with like a little white crop top little white trainers and they feel really comfy they're like cargo style I've got these in the size small which is 10 to 12 and these were also eight pounds best socks ever ignore the mess I feel like there's quite a lot of chaos happening in the background um, but I also got this pair of this was actually in the slipper section but not gonna lie I would wear these as shoes I swear a lot of people are wearing shoes in this style maybe from like Birkenstock I want to say but yeah these are like memory foam slippers the actual reason I got these is because at the beginning of August my boyfriend and I are going to a little shepherd's hut on like a detox weekend away and I thought you know what they'll be perfect for like popping in and out of the hut in the middle of the field kind of like a shoe slipper hybrid chilling in the hut in the evening and their memory foam so I absolutely love that and these were nine pounds got these bags at checkout because honestly I use this little one so often that I'm terrified of losing it so I've got another one also got this one I normally keep these in the boot of my car just use them for transferring stuff around places you know what bags are for <laughs> I obviously got that toy for Sunny as well it's been named Goosey Woosey and the last thing that I got this is my favorite thing is this leather jacket. Do you know what? I've got a leather jacket that's very similar to this, but it's so small for me now. It was from River Island. I've had it since I was probably like 14, so I'm not surprised it's too small. Um, but I can't even bend my arms in it. And it's practically exactly the same colour as this. This one feels really nice. It was... £17 for a fake leather jacket. I just love the colour of it. And I got this in size medium. I did try on the small and it was okay, but it felt like, I don't know, you couldn't put a jumper under it or anything. Whereas this one doesn't feel too big. 
and feels more comfortable. This is what it looks like on. I wouldn't wear it this outfit. I'd wear this with neutrals. Shock. Um, but yeah, it fits me really well. I really like it. And for £17, I think that's such a bargain. It's a really nice summer jacket. I'm going to have a massive wardrobe declutter next week. I think I'm going to film it for a video, actually. And then I'm committing myself to vintage because I've got so much stuff that is really nice quality, really nice bits, just doesn't fit me or I don't wear it. And I would normally just donate everything. But now your gal's saving to move out. So I'm going to set up a vintage account. Me and Leanne do have a shared one, but she uses it more than I do. So I thought, you know, I'm just going to set up my own account and get set in so keep your eyes peeled because there's going to be a jacket very similar to this in size 8 from River Island on my vintage very soon. Yeah that's everything I got from Primark and that's what you missed on Glee. I need to have a little tidy up because it's just giving chaos, it's giving unorganised. Bar of chocolate on the floor, bulk bought some wet wipes and have nowhere to keep them but I'm sick of looking at them so I'm going to find somewhere. Let's do this together, I'm going to set up a little timey lapse to keep me motivated. How's that for an angle? Are we good? Probably start with the chocolate on the floor. That's not hygienic. Let me feel your love again. Cause I've been running round in circles, screaming out your name. Take me to a different place. Just the two of us and we can stay up on And that is the after. How much better does that look? All the little bits and bobs have gone. The wet wipes are finally under the bed in the new little Primark bag actually, so super handy. I have got this shirt on the back of my chair because I'm one hanger short. Which is yet another reason why I need to have a massive declutter of my wardrobe. It's honestly, I'm sick of trying to shove stuff in there. And I've run out of hangers. So I've always got something on this chair. Got all my fave little skincare bits, but I've put everything else away. These are just the things that I use every day. All the little bits and bobs are gone. Even emptied my bin. And up here, oh my god, I haven't even shown you this. If you watched the vlog a couple of weeks ago when Alice was down, you may have seen that we went pottery painting and I went to collect the pieces last week. Stop it. I'm actually so impressed with myself. Call me Picasso, because how good is that? I actually love it. I'm gonna put it under my bed um, and keep it in my like home stash because I'm starting to build up little bits for when I move out. And this is my designated garlic bread tray. Or if people come around, like a little pot of dip on there and some Doritos. Nice little serving plate, but I don't want to use it before I move out. I'm so pleased with it though. I think all the difference is going over the paint three times. Normally I do like one or two coats, then I'm like, nah, I'm bored of it now. But because I was with Alice, Alice is a perfectionist, so she was like, I'm definitely doing three coats. So I did three coats of paint and it's made such a difference. I love the little blue rim around the edge as well. It's not the neatest thing in the world, like up close around here, but it makes it homemade. That's what makes it special. And imagine if this is the kind of thing that's in my family for years and then my kids have it and they're like, my mum painted that. It's definitely gonna be broken before then, but I really like it. I think it's sweet. And I'm obsessed with pottery painting. I find it so therapeutic. The river's gonna cry when you're gone. Good evening from a very tired hand. It's just me and Sunny at home this evening and I actually quite like these evenings. I wouldn't like it if it was too regular. I'm not the kind of person that enjoys time by myself. Um, I definitely prefer to like spend the evenings with someone, like with my mum or with both my parents or like with my boyfriend. But every now and again, it's quite nice to have an evening with just me and Sunny. I've just made us both a cup of tea. <laughs> it's just brewing in the kitchen. I'm so sad. I've had a nice bath. I've edited a lot of this vlog actually. We went out for a nice walk as well. So we've had a productive evening and I've now sat down to watch Fleabag. Let me know if you've watched it in the comments down below. But one of my friends recommended it. She said it's really funny, really good. It's on BBC iPad player i think it might be on amazon prime as well but i'm not sure i think it's quite old actually i've heard of it but i've never watched it so i've just sat down and put the first episode on here it is sunny is down here getting some treats out of her turtle what a lucky girl so i'm gonna chill out for the rest of the evening see how much of flea bag i can get through how long are these episodes actually oh they're only half an hour long perfect for my attention span i've got a bit of a headache actually so i've got a couple of neurofen while i've been editing this vlog i realized it's actually quite long so i think i'm gonna end it here there's not much going on tomorrow if i'm honest i'm seeing my girls in the evening but tomorrow during the day it will be packing orders finishing this vlog so not really much
much to fill you in on but yeah i hope this vlog was helpful and i hope it gave you that little nudge if you've got your smear test letter hidden somewhere in your bedroom just book it and get it done because i promise it won't be as bad as you think it's gonna be but anyway my loves thank you very much for watching this vlog do subscribe to see my future videos i'm pretty sure next week there will be a massive wardrobe declutter because it's really getting on my nerves every time i open those doors but anyway i hope you have a lovely week next week and i'll see you again next sunday with another little video bye guys love ya <laughs>